Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude again. I'm going to do another uh, Marvelocity book with uh, showing Alex Ross's artwork from Marvel Comics. I'm still working on the uh, Dynamite art of, Marvel, of uh, Alex Ross, and I'm going to be doing Mythology soon and some of the other ones that he's got. But uh, here we go with this one. It's just, I like this stuff because it's just awesome to see the pencils, what he did to uh, make the finished product. Like here you can see he's a young boy, mutant here. Um, and it changes over time. You see here. You see when she was still going to be a boy. Let's see. Hopefully you can read this. You can pause it here. I'll try to find a good spot to put because he, he covered the whole page so if I can break it up for you and pause it here I'm gonna move it now pause it here now move it again Oh, I think that's oh, that's it. Okay, maybe I can just pause it right there. Alrighty. Now see it from this move to a little girl to this. I remember this cover. This was awesome when this came out. Nineteen ninety three. Wow. he's talking about here just the panel breakdowns for the story marvels you can pause I'll pause it right I'm trying to find a good spot there we go we'll pause it right there so you can look at that and how he put the captions down and where he went the setting and everything how Kurt put this real story for him and pause it about here so you can read that side thing uh, you put on there, Edward Scissor Hands. Look. Okay, I'm gonna move it again. Now he's got the page breakdown here. And he's talking about New York. And over here, more loose. And then his um, models. So I'll put this here, you can pause this. Okay. It's just awesome how he does his artwork. The watercolor. This is his older stuff back in the 90s. It's just awesome stuff though, you can see just and he's gotten so much better, just the hundreds of pictures, the thousands of stuff, things he's done. It's like, wow. Fantastic Four. Oh, Galactus, that's cool. Just the detail. To make it realistic looking. Well, if they do that in the movie and they do it um, right, they do it in the movie and they make it like he is in the comic books. This is Silver Surfer Bust. Look how awesome that is. And then 
recreating exact moments of Jack Kirby's action scenes from the legendary Galactus story. We lived in Marvel's number three, 1993. And a life-size silver, eight, silver surfer head bust designed by Alex Ross and sculpted by Larry Malott, 2006. Life-size. That's cool. I wonder what that cost. I'm sure Alex has one of everything he's done, at least one of everything. Okay, now we're into this. Highlights from Marvels. Issue one. If you don't have this story, if you can get it in trade or hardcover, get it. It's a great story. Kurt Busiek is an awesome writer, and then with just with joined with Alex's artwork. Wow. Early Captain America stuff, that's cool. See it in black and white, like movie reels. You see, I'll pause that there so you can read that. All right. This was an awesome picture here, too. Showed some of the, uh, in some of the books I have, I'll have to show it. Where he had people posing for these for these positions here. Like especially this one here. This one, remember, the pose for this Captain America one. Stand, I think we stand on a chair or a table or something like that. That's in one of the other Alex Ross's books, of his books. This is cool. He had a guy standing uh, like this in a pose, showing like leaping. He's on a table or something. Got a GTO in the background. That's cool. This was always a cool picture too. That'd be an awesome poster. This one is showing the writing and everything, what it is. So yeah, I'll back up so you can see the well, pause it there so you can see the whole thing. Hopefully you can read that. Alrighty. This is Reed and Sue getting married. It's cool as everybody in the background. You got the Beatles back there. That was cool. Just the different people. Dick Van Dyke, Mary Tyler Moore, Linda Hamilton. Cool. Ben's tearing up. Who else is in this? More of the Beatles. You see the people looking at them. You have to get the book to really see it. Because this is really, they made it small in here. But this was an awesome poster too. I think, I think it was a cover. It was just a page in the book. I can't remember exactly. But um, I just seeing those things floating and coming around. Wow. Okay, this is, let me pause that there. Let me see if I can get it all in there. Here we go. All right. This is how he did this, the detail and everything. This a little, the stuff covered on the desk, the picture, the magazine, the photos. It's the time it takes to draw all of these and paint them. A little um, ripped off piece of paper, writing different stuff down. This was an awesome picture. I think this might have been a poster. Galactus. But maybe not. It's cool with the, the, the light glare, and the rainbow light. Cool. 
That would be terrifying. You see something like that, be like, what in the world's going on? And this would be an awesome movie if they did this, even if they did it really in really nice anime or some art style, if they did a, a movie of it. Issue number four. The detail in that. Giant Man and every ball, the Avengers and everything. Captain Marvel there. Trying to stop. I think it was stopping Atlantis from uh, Namor was trying to take over or something. Spider-Man, Dark Hawk. When Stacy's dad, or you read that Avengers Cree Squall Squall War, so it was the Cree Squall War, war, not the uh, um, Atlanteans, but it followed the timeline. Really cool, my mistake on that one, but cool. On oh, the Gwen Stacy scene with the Green Goblin. Read that. Alrighty. Let me pause it real quick. I got to do something real quick. Uh, reposition. Okay, here we go. I love the pencil stuff. I had to just get a page of his pencils and design let me try to forgot the cover for that one number four or something like that that's cool This was a cool poster here. All the detail. Ghost Rider back then, Morbius. Then here, okay. This is the actual finish cover, that's cool. This was a cool cover.
There's awesome details. And this one was an amazing cover here. Just seeing them coming out of the water like that. It's like the oranges and everything. You're like, oh my goodness. Oh boy, that would be scary. And come over here. And torch covers. Might have been able to get it all in one thing. We'll try to try to do this slowly so you can just pause it and look at it. Look at these covers, though. Just to collect the books for the covers. The books were, just, were nice, and I had them at one time. I got to go back and see if I can pick them up again. This is cool. Touching fingertips. Now the Jack Kirby stuff. He painted over Jack Kirby's pencils. Look how beautiful that is. cool it's a little shortened because you could see more in another picture you could see the face they, they enlarged it a little bit just to get cap and uh, Bucky in it but he actually painted the cover for uh, this right here painted over top of the pencils and then that's the Kirby drawing there Let's see. Let me read that. Alrighty. That's cool. So you got Joe Sennett and Jack Kirby cameo. Joe sent it back there with the glasses on. And Jack Kirby with the hat here. Like Joe sent it right there, and then Jack Kirby right there. Cool. Sitting in there listening to the radio with their friends. Now, if you can read all of this, I gotta figure out how to. I'll try to put it here, and then you can pause. I'll pause it. Let me see if I can get where there's this period right there. I can hold it right there. Or you can pause it here. All right. You can go down to this part here. And you can hopefully pause it. Let me see if I can get if I can get it all in there maybe. Now it's going to be a little hard. Um we'll try this here. Okay, I'm gonna move to the next page. So, these are cool. You can see like the the first version, like what Jack did. 
I love to have that book. I got the remakes of it that just came out. It's like like three four ninety nine. Remake the whole book. Everything. I'm not sure if they'll be worth anything, but to have the actual book be awesome. But then you got him and you know, he did the pencils. And then here, his version of it. That's cool. I didn't show him do the color version because he did it in color. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Show that. But um, here's Jack Kirby's version here. Captain America Comics number one. got his version over here and read that up there but it's just look how cool I mean he did it more realistic perspective and everything changed a few things he must have moved so fast that they couldn't hit him got a cool pose though knocking out Hitler and Bucky there. So it's just cool if I can, you can hold that there, compare that, look how they did that. Look how he did that. Cool. Alrighty. This one's gonna be, let me, I'll pull back and you can see, see it like this. Compare the two. That is cool, huh? Realistically doing it, and then how Jack did it, superbly Jack did it awesome too. Imagine owning these. I mean, you try to get the number one issues now. Imagine back then, having a number one issue back then, but I don't know if people appreciated or knew what it's going to be like nowadays. And some people did, I'm sure, and they kept the books because they liked the, the, the escapism, everything like we night, like we are now. My dad had a few books. My brother had a lot of books, too. My dad introduced me to Batman. He liked Batman the most, and he got me some early books on that. That's just cool. And you look at look at the um Batman and Wasp. And then you look over here. You can see how he did it here. <laughs> it's just cool how he did that, huh? You see what it, it looks like kind of realistic. That is awesome. Now this one we'll show show you this out far here. He changed the angle a little bit. But uh how he did Namor in the background there. Like a ghost image instead of like a cutout like that. These are all these books I love that if they do reprints I'll have to pick these up. I think they got those classic books or whatever they're called, Essentials or something like that, and they have them all in black and white. I got some Fantastic Four ones and some stuff with his artwork in it from DC. Everything, but this cool. So this was the Overstreet comic book price guide here. It'd be nice to have that as a poster. This one from um, 
That's cool to have the pencils there. X-Men number one, 1964 art, Jack Kirby, and then they got the reinterpretation, 1995. X-Men poster, 1995. So. So you see the, imagine having that, wow, a number one, X-Men number one. I'd love to come across a collection or something like that. I don't think they'd have anything like this at half price books. Because I think they know what they would be getting if somebody turned in something like this. Get these for a dollar. Could you imagine something like, like somebody, hey, somebody turned in these comic books. Hey, we want to look at these? Yeah, I'll look at them. My heart stops. You're like, oh, how much you want for these? Well, just a dollar each. Okay, I'll make checks through them and everything like that while I'm trying not to pass out. And uh, look through them and say, wow, you got... X-Men number one, that's kind of cool. That, that movie was kind of popular, yeah. yeah it's, it's kind of good. I remember, I like Jack Kirby artwork. That'd be kind of cool. And you got Fantastic Four number one. That's cool. Number ones are kind of kind of collectible. You know, you like to get those. Is you, and start off from the beginning, you know? Yeah. Let me flip through those. Yeah, a dollar each, you say? Yeah. Okay. Now yeah, let me say, okay, we got, we got Iron Man number one and Spider-Man. Amazing Fantasy. Wow, you got that? That's kind of cool. These are really cool. I like that. I think I'll, I think I'll buy some of these. What else you got in here? Oh, look at that. Superman. Um, wow. And you got Batman and everything in here. Oh, the number ones and early, early. These are really early issues. And they're not in bad condition. Yeah, I thought you might like this. That's kind of cool. You want to, You think you'd like to buy some of it? Yeah. I think I got some money. Uh, so I'm putting. Yeah, let me put these aside here. Make sure I don't bend them or anything like that. You know, I like to have good comic books. Good condition. So yeah, I'll, be, I'll get a few, I'll, I'll get a few of them. <laughs> you put, like, and then, are you okay? Uh, can, can I get a drink? Can you get me a drink of water real quick? I, I, okay, I'll get you one. I'll be right back. While I'm trying not to pass out. Everything, getting all those early issues. That's like, that'd be like a dream. Wake up and be like, was that real? Nah. Go check your comic book stack. No, nah, it wasn't real. Ah. <laughs> These are cool. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull this up so you can pause it. Hopefully, you can get the whole thing in and pause it here. John Romita Sr. Now, the way he paints his Spider Man, it's similar to him. So, you can uh, pause that. All right. And over here, you got a cover sketch, finished cover. Marvel's number zero. I remember that I have that. Some of my had I got like I said I traded them or sold them. I got to go back and get them. Like they did the acetate cover on uh, one through four. I think reprints didn't have it, but it was cool. Marvel was was written on the acetate part and it, it just like a cover sheet over top of the uh, comic, but not on the Marvel's one or not on the zero version. That's cool. Ramita finished layout printing for that. So Ramita did and he painted it. There's his version here. That is so cool. And then him, like this little seal here that they had. Ramita drew and he did the actual life like poster of it isn't that cool wow okay we got some more stuff I'm trying to hold it here and let's pause it right there so you can look at the artwork and the writing hopefully you can see it I looked at some of my videos and on my TV and everything like that, and I can see, I can read it. So if I just hold it, and you can pause it here. All right. I think that's Ramita Senior there. That's cool. He used him and put him in the book. He's got Phil yelling at him.
that's cool. Okay, pause it here. You can look at this. Okay, this is the post that they came out with. I'm not sure. I guess, um, I think, let me see, let me see, look at this. Panels from Marvel's John Reed opposed. And that's cool. But look at the um, all the detail in there, all the different characters.